Hi guys, I'm here and I just wanted to do a video on the Kat Von D foundation and something I kind of learned is that um, I thought it wasn't thick, thick at first but I did find out that it was thick and paint-like um, whenever I went into the sun natural light it was noticeable but it wasn't noticeable in my house so I would recommend that you have very good lighting when you put this makeup on one thing that helped a lot that I learned to blend it out more and make it not look like paint is I got one of these I use this buffer brush it really is most effective for me right now and I go ahead and get it pretty damp and then I dab it on a towel so that way it's just kind of moist I dab off the excess water and I use that and it works really good to blend it out and to the point where even in sunlight and natural light you can't even see it. So I'm doing this video though because I don't see a lot of videos on Kat Von D covering up tattoos and I actually do have tattoos that I can cover, try covering up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and try to cover up my tattoo and come back for you guys since I'm of course recording on my phone right now. See you guys later. Okay guys, I'm back and I just wanted to show you the before of the tattoo. So this is the before. I do have the tattoo on my left hip right here. So I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. Hi guys, I just finished covering up the tattoo. For the most part, it did a very good job, but I did use, have to use a lot to kind of get that effect. And if someone is up, well, sorry, I'm kind of looking down at it, but if someone is close to you and they, I mean, it's pretty noticeable and it doesn't cover the entire tattoo, so you can still see a tattoo underneath, but that might be because my tattoo is not that old. That could be a reason why, but that's the tattoo after. So you can see it kind of there, but it's very faded out. So I would recommend that if you are trying to cover up a tattoo for a photo shoot, then this would be really effective because on camera and in photos, a makeup looks different than in person. In person it's going to be definitely noticeable, it looks painted on, and it looks fake, it doesn't look like skin blending in, but also that might be because I have a different skin tone on my actual hip than my face, so that could very possibly be a reason I might need to go lighter on my um, actual hip. So um, take those things into account, but definitely I would recommend it if you're doing a photo shoot because it does very effectively cover it on camera and in photos. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and you guys have a great day.